right, YouTube. I'm just doing a little comparison video um, in case some of you want to know what the Max look like compared to the Emax Brushless Edition. I've got both these bad boys out. This one, definitely, definitely smaller. And get some views of it right there. Get this stuff out of the way. Sit slower, tire smaller. It's almost the same length, but it feels heavier. That's one thing, uh, definitely to me, it's just one feels heavier. This one feels, I don't know, it feels light compared to, we'll weigh them right now, kind of get the, get the feel for them, see what they're, what they weigh. Um, definitely a better truck. Let's take the lids off of these bad boys here. see underneath the lids what they look like most of you guys already know what it looks like ESC back there motor right there receiver servos up there most of you guys already know this layout but just in case there it is right there um, we'll flip it over same thing mm -hmm. I mean most of you guys know all this already this is really clean I've only ran this one a couple times um, Transmission, drive shafts in the center. Uh, a pretty, pretty simple, basic Max setup um, since since it's been out. Just upgraded. Now, the Max. Most of you guys have seen these Max videos. Most of you guys know the layouts already. Uh, most of you guys know everything about the Max. I'm sure if you're watching this video, you know everything there is to know about this Max. So I'm not going to get into that. But. I like how everything's covered. It's just one center drive shaft, no transmission. Um, I mean, I guess you could call that a transmission. It's got center differential. Um, it's got super thick fluid in it, super, super thick fluid, so it doesn't really act like a differential. Um, I hear you can change it out to make it act like a differential, but um, I just mainly wanted to do some side-by-sides in case you had one or we're thinking about getting one there's the size comparison um, it's I still like the size of this one compared to this one but this one is a beast um, it's still super fast what I hear people have problems with these speed controls fans always breaking I may actually switch this into that it is capable um, in case you didn't know the transmission, I mean, the differentials in the Max, way beefier than these things. I'm always afraid to drive this thing because I always feel like I'm going to bust the differential. Now here, if you shim it right, set the slipper right, a lot of people run 4S, no issues. 4S, which one's faster? That guy's faster on 4S and this one right here. Uh, I don't know the exact speeds. I've driven them. This one feels faster, maybe because it's smaller. I don't know. Um, this is pre-wide max. This is stock. No wide max, nothing. It's later to come. Um, so let's get to the width. Um, well, you can kind of see the height. Originally, max has more ground clearance. That one has a little less, but I think it's still enough. Um, size comparison, wheels and tires. You can see that right next to each other. I wish this came with something a little bit bigger. To me, it looks kind of cheesy. It's not bad. Um, one thing I don't like on the Max, which Proline came out with a fix for, they have uh, mounts, body mounts that you can attach. They attach to the towers. You can put certain bodies on there. Um, the clipless body is nice, body mounting system, but it limits you on bodies. Um, I like the truck body better than this thing, right? To me, that just looks cooler. I don't know. Maybe I'm just too old, old school. This has a cool factor to it. Put that on. Slide it on, put it down. Boom, done. 
But it just doesn't look like a truck. I don't know. I, I'm just weird, I guess. Um, so, now, I guess we can get to the length. Almost identical. I mean, I don't know if the screen's gonna turn sideways or not, but almost identical. I think that what makes it look different, bigger, bigger tires. You could see that definitely, the bigger tires. Um, actual width, let's set this bad boy right there. Barely wider, barely just a hair wider, but this does not have the wide max kit. So now let's get to weight. I swear, I think that max, the max 4S weighs more, but we'll find out just in case. I got my postage scale. Turn that bad boy on. I think I turned it off. Set the can on there. Let's tear it. Which is supposed to zero it out. There we go. Now let's set the max on here. Set you down for a second. Nine pounds, 12.9 ounces, sitting on the can. That's heavy for something that looks as small as this, that's heavy, but it also goes to tell you how beefy the drivetrain is, because it's a lot of plastic. I believe most of the weight is in the drivetrain. All right, put you down again, let's put the Emacs on there. About three ounces lighter, nine pounds, nine nine point eight ounces. I knew it, but it's it's a cheaper truck. When these first came out, I think these are around seven hundred and fifty dollars. These first came out five hundred and forty nine dollars. Maybe been cheaper when they first came out. Get ready to sell this one. I like this one. It's just I I'm scared to drive it every time because of dips. I had a a brushed E-Revo version one, of course. I threw the, I put the Titan 775 in it, went and drove it, uh, slammed it in reverse, a little too quick, pop, boom, teeth chipped off the trans, I mean, off the front differential. I just, I hate having to worry. It's a great truck. You could do the LST diff mod, but the LST diffs are harder and harder to find. So, there goes that option. And they're ridiculously expensive now. They used to be uh, 40 bucks for a set of two. So there it is. If you're on the fence, should I keep my Emax? Should I get the Max? If you got enough money, get both. It's just a cool truck. It's big, more ground clearance, fun to drive. Yes, the bulkheads are weak. Yes, um, the front control arms are weak. Uh, Yes, the differential's kind of weak. It just depends how you set it up. I have, so I hear some people have never have issues with differentials because they got the slipper set just right and they have differential shim just right. But look at that, look at the shocks. Look at the shocks, one shock versus two. I see videos of people launching these things sky high, land, tumble, nothing broken. I've seen some people break the axles, the stub axles here wheels fall right off. I mean, steel axles for that. Most people upgrade to the steel axles right away with that. I like to leave the plastic ones because I like to have the weak point. Saves the drivetrain. Uh, it's just, if you can keep them, this is still fun to drive. It's light bashing. This one, I think a lot of people put it up there with the Techno MT410, uh, Arma, Notorious, Kraton, whatever. I had a Notorious, I sold it just to get the Max. Was the Notorious a bad truck? No, Notorious was a great truck. Uh, I beat the crap out of it too. The only thing is I couldn't get over the chassis. Truggy chassis underneath, buggy chassis actually. 
monster trucks. I'm just old school. You gotta have that raised center chassis, differential sit down lower. I can't, I can't do the flat chassis. Uh, I had an MT410, sold it within a week, flat chassis. It was tough, tough truck. I just could not get over that flat chassis. I mean, I don't know. Call me old school, but monster truck's monster truck. Yes, it handles worse with this chassis. The flat chassis handles way better with the center differential, but that's not what a monster truck is. A monster truck is hard to drive. That's what makes it fun. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to drive, but there needs to be some rawness there. So, here we go, guys. Any questions, let me know.